Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in this series of videos we've been putting together or we will be putting together this sort of product sales funnel page where you can actually buy the product. We've got WooCommerce installed. Of course if you click on the buy now you can go to the product and actually buy it. So in our last video we created our nav bar and the logo and the favicon let's create a hero slider for our product right here so here's our new site I'm at the dashboard right here let's go down to pages and add new and I'm just going to call my new page home and I'm going to use the Divi builder I don't need to take the tour. Take the tour if you don't know what you're doing. I do, so I'm going to start building. I'm going to build from scratch. Okay, so I'm actually going to get rid of that. I want to insert a full width row for our full width slider. So I'm going to hit the little blue button there to add a section, green one to add a row, and there's a dark one in a minute to add a module. I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to make it full width. And I'm going to slide down. And for our full width options here, we've got a full width slider module. I'm just going to left click on that. And as you can see, it's put in a little mock slider there. I'm just going to save that and delete this top section that we didn't need. Just hit the trash can icon. Okay, so let's go into the slider module itself, the dark tab right here. Because we use a specialist section, a full width section, it's a purple tab for a regular section, it's usually blue. So let's go into our full width slider here. And let's grab our first slide. I'm going to go into the cog. First thing I want to do is put, put in a background image. So I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to go to image. You've got color, gradient, image, and video. I'm going to go to image add a background image. I'm going to pull in a picture. Now because it's a fairly big screen size I've got this picture size a minimum I'd say of 1920 for something like this. 1920 pixels wide if it's going to be a full screen image. You can be bigger but I wouldn't go too much smaller than that because it may blur out on you. So I'm happy with that. Hit the upload image and there it is in the background. Now for the actual content itself, if we go further up, let's go to the text. I put in huge MacBook sale. As you can see, it's right there. The button, I'm going to say learn more. I'm going to have it go down to another section below eventually and I'm going to put in a few of the specifications for the Mac. I've actually got a little product description here so we can put in some of that. And we just roll on down to our content here and put that in there. There we go. Now I want a, a little image of the MacBook as well on the left hand side. So if we go down a little further you can say image and video and I'm going to add a little vin little image right here. I'm going to use a transparent PNG again so it's just a picture of a computer with no background there. I'll just drag it open, over and upload that one. And there it is on the side there. And you can see our text has been pushed over to the right hand side here. Now I'm not too happy with the way everything's displaying. So let's put a, a mix of color in the background of our picture here. So let's, we're on our slide again. We want to go down to background. You could use an overlay, but I'm just going to add a color. So I'm going to go to color. And let's try our purple color and you may say well I can't see anything well, that's true let's go back to our image and at the bottom of the image you've got a bunch of blend styles so multiply 
Now that works pretty well. Screen. You can go through and choose something that works for you. I think for me, multiply is going to work perfectly because you can see and read everything there. That's great. Now I want to make that writing a lot heavier. And I perhaps want to do these lines so they're not as long. So let's go to our design tab and we can go down to our title text or you can hover over and hit the little paintbrush item at the text itself that will take you straight to whatever it is you want to edit. I'm going to make these ultra bold. Well, that's a little too much. Let's make them semi bold. That's fine. I'm going to capitalize it. There we go. That's pretty much all I want to do to that we'll take care of the paragraphing on this in the content in a minute let's style our button I'm going to make my button go down to button design tab custom styles for button it's fine where it is at the moment on the left text color white that's good button background I'm going to make it purple and I'll also make the border itself purple just below but on hover, let's turn that button to blue. So button background, hover over where it says button background, you'll see these little icons. Go on the little arrow one, it'll give you an option for desktop and hover mode. Desktop's when there's no mouse over it, hover obviously when there is. So I'm going to select hover, and I'm going to say I want it to be blue on hover. As you can see it's turned blue. And I want to do the same thing with the border. Button border color, click on the little arrow again hover color there we go now if I switch back to te text box it's going to turn back to purple again okay I'm going to actually leave my button there for a moment I don't know I guess I'll add an icon show button icon I'm going to flip that to yes and I'm going to use just an arrow that's going down because I'm going to have that button going to a different section below now it's only showing when I hover over it I want it to show all the time so if we go down a little bit lower only show icon hover on hover just select that or deselect that and it'll be there you may have to flip it it may tell you that it's doing that but you may have to flip it off a couple of times there we go now I'm just going to add a bit more padding to our button so I'm going to go down a little further add some padding left and right just to make it wider and so let's say 50 on the left I may have to add a bit more on the right because to offset it with that button we'll try 50 yeah I'm going to give it say 60 because of the icon there yeah that looks better to me but of course you do what you want to do great so the only thing, other thing I want to do here is to go into the text I'm back on the content tab and I want to break it at let's say after computing there's computing so I'm going to hit shift and enter that'll do a single line not just enter shift and enter a single line you just hit enter it'll give you a double line and after a and after optimum there we go that looks a little more organized I think anyway there so I'm pretty happy with that slide so let's hit the checkbox and we're back into the main slider one if we go up there let's delete the second one that they've got there and clone the one that we've just done two little boxes right there I'm going to hit the cog to go into that I'm going to change the title to perhaps 48 hours only or however long you want your sale as you can see it's written there I'm going to leave the learn more because that's going to go down to another section I'll just change this text out a little bit with my text that I had going on here I'm 
let's see I want to break this after four shift enter after radion or radion uh, after graphics and after applications I guess there we go great and let's change the image out to a different computer image that I've got here image and video so just click on it I've got another one of it facing the other way again it's a transparent one there we go so I'm going to pop that in there now I just want to change that background image out for a different one so if we go down to background and I'm going to go to image I'm going to leave the color in because we want it to do the same or similar thing let's have a look I think I've got another computer type image there upload that one fantastic great so that's great for our second slide now all I want to do is set this thing to be automatic so it rotates automatically and you can change styles such as your buttons and your arrows but I really don't need to change anything so let's just go to our design tab overlay don't need to change anything there navigation there's if you want to change your arrow color or dot color I'm happy with the way mine is so I'm gonna leave that as it is don't need to change the image all the text we've done all that in the slides the buttons fine sizing and spacing are absolutely fine so we're going to go back to our full width slider settings you can go to elements and decide whether you want to show arrows and controls link it to anything everything is absolutely fine there if we go to the design tab I want to go down to animation I want to tell mine to automatically animate so I'm going to switch that to on and I'm going to say every five seconds which would be 5,000 milliseconds so I'm going to leave that continue automatic slide on hover to off that way when people put their mouse over it it'll can it will stop so it'll give them a chance to read the text and hit the button and look at the pictures if they want to so I think we're pretty much done there let's just save our changes save the page changes hit the little purple button publish the page and once published exit the visual builder and there's our little slider right there should slide every five seconds there we go so that's how to add a hero slider in our next video we'll move down and do our little countdown clock there so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. Thanks for watching, have a great day.